Good day, Park County. This is Dr. Coleman with Livingston Healthcare. Things feel more normal. We are back at school full time and most are back to work. It increasingly feels like summer and visitors are beginning to show up in a big way. Our hospitalized patient volume has also been similar to pre-pandemic numbers. The rapid respiratory testing an evaluation clinic recently stood down and routine urgent care is back up. The COVID-19 vaccination clinic also recently has been demobilized. COVID-19 vaccinations will now be administered in the outpatient clinic setting, much in the manner that all other vaccines are given and have been given over the years. Life has felt a bit more normal. These last couple months have presented new developments that we all must consider carefully and have reminded us just how difficult it is to predict the future in the context of a pandemic. Park County and Gallatin County have consistently led the state in new COVID-19 cases per population this past spring. The variant first identified in the United Kingdom appears to be driving most of our recent and new infections. It takes less time and less distance between us to cause infection with this variant. These recent cases of infection include many more young people. At the hospital, we are seeing a new trend that likely lays out what we can expect from the foreseeable future. Our long-term care facilities have all been vaccinated at a high rate against COVID-19. We are not seeing these patients in the hospital setting the way we were earlier this year. We are not seeing the young folks, although many of them would tell you that they felt pretty sick with this disease. We are hospitalizing county residents over 50 years of age who have not been vaccinated. It is as if COVID-19 picks these vulnerable people out of the crowd. The country the county and the world come to visit us here in the summer. More variants from around the world are very likely to land in Park County. The more infectious they are, the more efficient I suspect they will be in infecting and making very ill those who are older and more vulnerable that have not been vaccinated. Our rate of fully vaccinated Park County residents is now just over 40%. It is not enough. We have no waiting list to get the COVID-19 vaccine at Livingston Healthcare, and vaccine rates have slowed across the county. This means there are still a lot of people in the county ripe for getting sick with COVID-19. At Livingston Healthcare, we are confronting the fact that we may have no end in sight in caring for folks that get very sick, need hospital and ICU care, and die from this disease. For these folks and their families and their healthcare staff, it is a grueling illness. It is lonely and isolating. We all can see ominous outcomes coming for days, often despite treatment. As oxygen needs increase and biochemical markers worsen, these scenarios seem so random and they are simply awful. Having said all of that, I get it. It is so difficult to feel that we have all of the facts. There is so much circulating online and in conversations that it is hard to sort out. It is difficult to consider getting a vaccine that didn't exist a mere year ago, let alone being told to get it. I get that too. I am, however, going to tell you the facts as I know them. Make your own decision, but please consider these points. The virus that causes COVID-19 when it infects a person, spreads for the first week throughout the body, including not only the lungs, but the brain, the heart, intestines, muscles, and even in those that have a mild illness. During this time, it provokes our immune system. We know who is more vulnerable to secondary attack from our own immune systems, but in many ways, it still seems quite random in who it selects. The trouble starts in the second week for those whose immune system 
goes on the attack with vengeance. It's insidious, as one doesn't know. They are out of the woods, often for weeks, and in some cases, over a month. The vaccines, on the other hand, don't do this. The two messenger RNA vaccines from Moderna and Pfizer simply send a message into the cell, but do not enter the nucleus or the DNA of that cell. This message tells the cell for a short time to make and release the protein found on the surface of the virus that causes COVID-19. So our immune system can prepare and remember how to handle this virus when it sees it in the future. The messenger RNA doesn't last long and doesn't stay in the cell or the body for long. There is no secondary immune response with the vaccines. The whole thing is over in a day or two. But the immune system is now primed and will not be caught off guard by the virus that causes COVID-19. Most everyone I know has had a sore arm, headache, chills, aches, or fatigue after both doses of these messenger RNA vaccines. These symptoms last for one to two days and resolve completely after a good full night of sleep. These are the two vaccines that we have ample supply of in Park County. This technology is brilliant and will likely allow for prevention of countless viruses from the future. These two vaccines, above all others, have held up against all variants of the coronavirus worldwide to date. They have held up as extraordinarily safe vaccines as well. I have talked with so many fellow county residents, doctors and nurses. Everyone tells me of the relief they felt after vaccination. It was profound. The relief of not infecting loved ones the relief of not waiting until the second week of the infection to see if the random nature of this virus was going to select them. And for us in healthcare, the relief of feeling protected when we come to work. Frankly, I am ready for the relief of moving beyond wearing a mask all day. Let me tell you just how strong that relief is. At Livingston Healthcare, 93%, that's 93% of all staff have been fully vaccinated against COVID-19. We are 400 persons strong. We come from all walks of life and all political persuasions. What is the same for all of us, however, is knowing the facts and sharing in this relief. We trust each other. We know we need to be well to care for this community. To my knowledge, there is not another hospital in the country that has achieved anywhere near this rate of protection against the virus that causes COVID-19. I know our unique sense of community and connectedness in Park County mirrors how we feel at Livingston Healthcare. And this community needs to be well to care for our economy, our businesses, our kids, our schools, and our elders. We cannot afford to welcome the world this summer with 60% of us vulnerable to this infection, including the variants that travelers will continue to bring to Gallatin and Park County. This current vulnerability puts too much that we all care deeply about at risk. We can insulate ourselves now, all share in the relief, lock in a normal summer, a normal school year, and get back to business. We all as a community have led in so many ways throughout the pandemic. Let's lead the country in putting this pandemic in the history books. Be well and thank you for listening.